Michael Elise is better than Bernardo Silva. True or false? True. True. Yeah. Well, that, what, what's, what's so good about him? Well, he's just faultless, isn't it? I mean, he's, um, he's skillful on the ball. He's, you know, he, I mean, he just runs through people like they're not there. It's, you know, it's a joy to watch. Oh, that's tricky. Tough one. To me, Michael Elise is the best player we've had here for years. Wow. Um, but Bernardo Silva is just is a world-class player. But Elise could become that world-class player. For sure. Yeah, Yeah, I think they're very different. I think elise has got that ceiling, isn't he? He's gonna, I think he's got the ability to get there. But Bernardo Silva's, at the moment, you can't you can't say is better than Bernardo Silva. I still think Elise's better, quicker. I mean, I know it's a bit of age difference, but Elise does things that Silva can. Elise not only reads the game, his delivery of a ball, a free kick, is fantastic, man. He will be. Maybe not right now, but he's taken some time off this year, I think. He needs to sort his body out, I think. What if I change Bernardo Silva for Martinelli? 100% true. Why is that? He's just, uh, he uses class. See, I don't really rate Martinelli. Not really, no. No, not I, do I. No, I don't no. rate Martinelli. So, Elise, clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have Elise say over Martinelli any day. Skill wise, 100%. Elise. Put some miles in uh, Martinelli, gets a few goals like he's meant to. He's a striker, a winger. Elise got more skill for me. Okay. A lot more skill. I think he's better than Martinelli, yeah. I think so, yeah. 100%. I think so, yeah. Fair fair enough. What do you think? I, I think Michael Elise is better, actually, as well, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think I think Martinelli is overrated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at the reactions. I think Eze is a better player than Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes, too much of this, isn't he? We don't want to see that, do we? Would you take him at Palace? Fernandes? Yeah, might do his job as a super sub, maybe. Super sub? Yeah, I think so, yeah. What about Elise? Is he better than Fernandez? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I think he is. Do you know, he's ice cold, isn't he? Yeah. Cool as a cucumber. Eze's a better player out of the three. Bruno Fernandes, not my kind of player. He died a pain in the bum to be on the pitch. Wouldn't take him at Palace? No. Not a chance? Not a chance. No. Fair enough. I'd probably say Elise out of the three. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then Eze second. I'm not a massive lover of Fernandez. Wouldn't take him at Palace? <laughs> Pro- well, probably would. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. He had those 10 games, didn't he? Yeah. He had them 10 games when he was first at United, where he was just unbelievable. In their prime, when they're at their peak, who do you think was better? Riyad Mahrez, Alexis Sanchez, or Wilfred Zaha? Zaha, I think. Zaha. Yeah, yeah, all going yeah. Along, yeah. yeah. All right, mate. Wilfred Zaha. 100%. 100%. That was quick. Yeah, yeah. Easy one. Riyad Mahrez, Man City, Alexis Sanchez, or Wilfred Zaha? Mahrez. Mahrez. Yeah. Why? Uh, good player. Uh, Zaha is hit or miss. Good player for the club, but hit or miss. Being a Palace fan, I'd love to say Zaha, Mahrez. Equal, really, but better than Sanchez. They're both better than Sanchez. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will's a good player. Yeah. Riyad Mahrez. Riyad Mahrez. Yeah. Yeah, I got Riyad Mahrez. Yeah. Yeah. Zaha can turn it on, but it's in. It's too sporadic. Yeah. Yeah. Both Zaha. Okay. Riyad Mahrez, technically good. Wilfred Zaha, obviously, he's, God, he's lord around here. Of course he is, but he had his flaws uh, and he's not doing that, that, that well in uh, Galatasaray right now. True or false, Crystal Palace will qualify for a European place in the next two years. I think that could be true. With a new chap on board now, different type of player coming in maybe. I mean, we've got the players. We should be there. We should be there now. But if you look at the injuries over the last season, it's been horrendous. Will Crystal Palace qualify for Europe within the next three seasons? Well, we would have liked to have done it before, before now. I think we're in the Prem 10 years the next three years I'm optimistic I'm excited let's say they'll do it in three years hopefully yeah true true why if we can keep our young players and progress the way we have been progressing hopefully Europe. I'd love them to qualify. I've been a Palace fan for 50 odd years now, and uh, obviously my chance to see Palace in Europe was back in the 90s when uh, when we had the ban of the right and bright days. But um, one ambition would be to see Palace play in Europe in the next two years, maybe a little bit early still. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. I think we've got a good manager now. Yeah, if he brings the right players in, it, this the problem may be if we lose the players we've got. Uh, if we lose them, then we then maybe that well, that may not happen. But if we can keep them then yeah absolutely I think we're we're on a par with Brighton definitely I think it, it'll just take a one off season I don't think it'll be consistent I think the league's got too strong there's seven eight teams in the league now that are just in a different they're almost like a known league in themselves you know I think Brighton going to struggle to get back into that to be honest you never know you never know I would love to see that but I'm open so yeah I mean when we turn up we turn up we're fantastic on our day we are really well, we've got a few injuries this season and you know that's took us took us back a little step but on the day we're fantastic we could be we can be anyone and play anyone